In this example, we'll demonstrate how to grab data from the web using Microsoft Excel. And here is a web page, basketballreference.com. And on this page, what you see now is James Harden, one of the star players in NBA. And if we roll down this page, we'll see that on James Harden's page, there are many different tables about his uh, data, his uh, 2022 20, to 23 projection, his per game data uh, in regular season and playoffs, and then his regular season playoff total, etc. So you'll see many, many different tables. And this is the page that we're going to grab data from. Uh, first, to prepare for data grab, we're going to copy the URL of this page. Right click, copy, minimize this page. So now I have the URL. I want to grab a table from that web page. And on Excel, we're going to click data. And then on the left, uh, these are the different choices that you can grab uh, data from. And we're going to choose from web. Click. And then it asks the URL. Here we're going to right click and paste the URL that we have just copied. Click OK. So as you can see that Excel has identified all the tables on that page listed here. So this is not the first time I do this. If you do this for the first time, occasionally you're going to see this. So after you paste the URL in that page and click OK, occasionally it's going to give you an interface to connect to that page. And this connect page allows you to log in to certain web pages if any credential is needed. But in our case, this is just a public website, so you can choose anonymous and click connect. Since I've already done this before on Excel, it doesn't ask for this anymore. So once I click OK, I was pointed directly to the page that display all the tables on that page. So we're going to choose the table to load. In this case, the table we're looking at, if you click here, the totals table, this would be the table we want to look at, the regular season totals for James Harden. Now once we choose the table, just click load. And that is it we have successfully loaded the table into Excel. All right, so now we have loaded the data into Excel. Next, we want to take a look at James Harden's performance over the season. So here's the second step in getting the data is we want to do some data cleaning or checks on the data before we conduct any further analysis. So there are a few things. One thing we know that First, we know that James Harden has been traded over the years, uh, and he has been traded twice in recent years. So when you look at the data, you, you see that row 13 here is TOT. Uh, that is his total number in, in 2020 to 2021 season. There are two more rows of 2020 to 2021. One row belongs to when James Harden was still a Rockets player. And the second row was after he was traded to the Brooklyn Nets. And similarly, you have a total here in row 16. And row 17 and 18 were when he was with Brooklyn Nets and, uh, and then Philadelphia Sixers. We don't want his seasons to be set, separated in different rows. We want each row to represent one of Jim Harden's seasons. So let's get rid of these rows that we don't use for analysis. I'm going to delete them. Select the rows. On top of the rows, right click, and then 
use the left button to click on delete. It's going to get rid of them. And these two rows, as we notice, uh, our totals both cover his uh, performance at more than one team. Okay, so now let's take a look at some other things. When you import from the web resources, these tables, sometimes the layout uh, can be a little bit wonky when the website inserts a, for example, an empty column here, it's going to get imported and this is empty. After that is triple double. So this column is obviously useless. Let's get rid of it. So select the column and then right click and then click on delete. It's going to get rid of that useless column. Now we have cleaned up the data. And in this case, there's no particular coding we need to process this data. We're going to use it directly to do some exploratory charting. What I want to do is to take a look at the column J, uh, FGA, which stands for uh, field goal attempts. So James Harden's field goal attempts in each one of the seasons with respect to his age. So next, I want to look at how James Harden's field goal attempt has evolved over the years. So I'm going to select this column and then insert. And there are many different charts that Excel could do. And in this case, I want to just draw a, a line chart and just select the first one. And this is what we see. Uh, when you do a line chart, it's going to automatically label the x-axis in sequential numbers. So when you do the line chart, Excel would automatically label the horizontal axis with a sequence of numbers, year 1 to year 13. You can consider this as James Harden's seasons, but I would like to label this using his years. So I'm going to move the mouse over the line and then right click. So the pop-up menu has several choices. I'm going to do select data. Now this, I received the interface of the chart. I want to change the horizontal access labels. Right now it's labeled 1 through 13. So I'm going to click Edit. And then it's going to ask for the label access label range. And I will select his age as the label range. So use your mouse left, left button and drag it in this area, select age. So now click OK and then click OK. So now you see that in this chart, we actually see James Harden's age and then his number of uh, field goal attempts over the years. So I want this chart to label the uh, X and Y axis. So I'm going to use a quick layout to do this. Click on Quick Layout, and there are different layouts. And what I want is the layout with X and Y access title labeled. So click on this. And now you have the access title. So when you choose the access title, you can use your keyboard to type in what you want to name it. In this case, I want this to be age. And I want to label this as field goal attempt parenthesis FGA. And then re enter. So now I have labeled both X and uh, Y axis as age and field goal attempt. For the chart name, so I'm going to select this text. And the use the keyboard to type James Harden fail the goal attempt over years. And then this gives the chart I want. I can change the chart design using one of the options. This makes it easier to see. So now we see James Harden's field goal over years. And the good thing about the chart is it's very visual. It's easy to see what's going on. And we know that in the early years, he was playing second fiddle, or actually third fiddle, after Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. So his numbers were low. 
Once he was traded to the Rockets, he became the team star. His number instantly jumps. And then over the years, he was doing better and better with the Rockets until during this season, uh, when he was 30, he was traded. And then because of injury and everything, his numbers were uh, down significantly. Part of this, you also see that for NBA players, their performance generally starts to decay when they are 31 or 32. This can also be age related. All right, that's the example of grabbing the data, clean up the data, and use a chart to illustrate the data.